What's going on YouTube? Geosnoy here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for the Antetr jailbreak for iOS 14.4 all the way up to 14.6. So as you probably know, a couple of days ago Linus Hansi posted this demo on iPhone 12 Pro Max of a couple of vulnerabilities running and of course creating a jailbreak that is completely untethered, which means that the jailbreak activates itself immediately after reboot without any user intervention. And of course the jailbreak was rather complete it had Cilio and it had a lot of things already working. You can see Cilio already in there. Now untethered jailbreaks have been a staple of the jailbreak community back on the iOS 7, back on the iOS 6 and so on, even iOS 8 and 9 to some extent. They used to be very common but nowadays they're an extremely rare sight to see. So when we get a jailbreak that is untethered that is actually a very good reason to be happy because an untethered jailbreak doesn't require any signing, it doesn't require any IPA files, you don't have to mess with alt store or anything like that or with any applications every time you reboot the phone the jailbreak already activates by the time the phone is back to the home screen now i actually talked to linus hansi after this video here and they said they might be releasing this in october but today we've got confirmation they posted quote question when ata answer october 21 open source so back when i talked to them they said they might release it they weren't exactly very sure but they did hint to the fact that they may release it at the end of October, but now we do have full confirmation that this will be released on October 21 as open source. Now for those of you who are unaware what these are, there are a couple of important vulnerabilities including an untether and a kernel exploit. So basically everything in here can be used for jailbreak purposes and we will be able to update Uncover and Taurine and even complete Manticore jailbreak and very likely make Uncover and Taurine and maybe even Manticore untethered. So no more losing your jailbreak after reboot, no more IPA signing, no more alt store and so on and no more revokes or expiration which is actually like the best part of an untethered jailbreak. So yes we do have confirmation this will be released. Now in terms of support this has been passed somewhere in 14.6 or 14.7. By 14.7 we know for sure that this has been patched. Some of the parts of the bug may still be in 14.6 but they may not be exploitable. So it's safe to assume that 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4.2, 14.4.1 and 14.4 are the safe versions for this jailbreak. So if you're running any of these versions or anything lower than that like 14.3, 14.2.1, 14.2 and so on you will be able to have an untethered jailbreak very very soon. So we now have for sure confirmation from the developer themselves that they will be releasing this as open source on October 21. That's basically one month from now. Today is September 23 at the time I'm making this video so not a lot left to go. But once that gets released things will start going very very fast because both Uncover, Taurine and Manticore will start working on these jailbreaks probably at the same time in a race to release first. So it would definitely be a good idea to wait. Now if you have already updated at 14.6, 14.7, 14.7.1, 14.8 then things are pretty bad. There are kernel vulnerabilities that might be released in the future for these versions so you're not exactly dead in the water yet but these by Linus Hansi will not work. So if you're running anything newer than 14.5.1 you can forget about these by Linus Hansi. However there are still more to be released. However if you're running 15.0 that's like the worst version to be on right Right now but don't worry you can still downgrade the 14.8 for a while so you can even go here to iDeviceCentral.com and if you go here to iOS signing status and you select your device from the list if you press on the 14.8 build number you can get the IPSW file and this one you can restore with either Finder or iTunes but do a backup first and you will be able to go back to 14.8 however iOS 15 and all of its betas are very bad for jailbreak purposes and you're probably not going to get a jailbreak anytime soon because because iOS 15 introduces some major security changes which makes jailbreaking even harder. So I would steer very clear from iOS 15 for the moment especially because of that. Go back to 14.8 and wait in there. But yes, now we have full confirmation from Linus Hensey that they will be releasing the kernel exploit and the untether on October 21 as open source for everybody to use. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.